Hi guys, this is uh, Yvon Dongo, Senior Consultant at CRM Asset Consulting. We are specialized in Microsoft technologies, Power Apps, Power Automate, Power BI, Dynamics 365 and more. So this is uh, another video, uh, I think uh, number 15 of a series of around 20 I will post on my YouTube channel. Um, in the very first video of this series, I showed you how to create a custom connector for Zoom from scratch and we have used that custom connector to create a Zoom meeting automatically from Dynamics 365 and uh, retrieve registrants or participants to that Zoom meeting. Um, what I want to say now is you may face an issue with the refresh, the refresh token and uh, maybe you create your meeting using the custom connector and after one hour or more you see the flow fail with uh, reason or error uh, some displaying something like uh, invalid access token okay so uh, you may face you may face this issue and you have several workarounds okay but in this video uh, I'm going to show you another way another way to perform the same things okay create a meeting from Dynamics 365 using a power automate but we are not going to use the custom connector to integrate or to retrieve data from zoom or to post data to zoom if uh, we need to create a zoom meeting but we will rather use an http request http request okay this is an action an existing action within uh, um, Power Automate, I mean. So, let me explain you globally how this works. The first thing to do is to create a server-to-server -server application on Zoom Marketplace, okay? Then, uh, you will get the account ID, the client ID, the client secret, you will provide or give rights to that app and uh, you will activate that app. Okay, This is the first step. Next, you will get the client ID and the client secret and then you will encode, okay, you will encode the client ID colon client secret. The value of the encode, the output of it will be used in the HTTP connector to first generate the token and then you will use that token to create your Zoom meeting or to retrieve uh, registrants or participants to a Zoom meeting. So this is globally <coughs> Uh, what we are supposed to, to do. Let me first show you how the flow works. So we will create a Zoom meeting directly from Dynamics 365 and then I will show you how the thing has been done. So this is uh, our event entity. So from here I click on new to create a new uh, Zoom event from Dynamics 365, let me see, test automated zoom alpha, alpha, okay, something like this, even time, let us say tomorrow 8 a.m., even duration, let us say one hour, <laughs> as even time, it must be zoom, Okay, when I select Zoom, you can notice the system display the John URL, which is <coughs> a read-only 
field and the zoom meeting id so this information will be populated back from uh, from zoom okay so from here i select default configuration and click on save now when the record will be saved uh, the flow will be triggered and the action will go and create the meeting in zoom okay so if i refresh i should see the value of the join url and the value of the meeting id so let us refresh you see this is the join url this is the meeting id and if we go in zoom we will be able to see that new zoom meeting test automated zoom alpha okay it works perfectly now let us see the flow the trigger of course is when a row is added under the event table and i have selected organization as scoop i declare some variables this is an object this is an object also this is an integer this is a string now i need to get the token okay i need to get the token uh, but before let me show you the app this is a zoom app marketplace so you click on develop your app and you create a server to server app not a client to server server to server so the system will generate the account id the client id and under it the client secret okay then you go on to add to give rights to the app and you activate it okay so now you will take the as i told you you need to encode the client id colon client secret so you take the value of it on the zoom the server to server zoom app you have created client id colon client secret you copy this and go back here so after declaring my variables i need to call the http action okay in order to get or to obtain the token okay i'm not going to click here because i don't want you to see the client id client secret and, and account id of course rather i have modified the value of the client id client secret and account id and i did a screenshot okay so it is exactly like this the only thing is this authorization is fake this account id is also fake okay so you call your action to get the token it is a post this is the url okay you can read it on uh, zoom api documentation so you don't you don't create it you just read it the header is authorization you enter here basic space and you paste the encoded value of client id colon client secret okay then as query you have two things to add grant type is account credentials and account id you put the account id this will generate a token valid for one hour maximum okay valid for one hour <clears throat> so this is that step then you can store the body of the get token inside your variable 
and that uh, body is an object of course and you have as a key the access token so I'm store I'm storing it here in in this uh, I mean I just this is a compose action and I pass that variable and the key to retrieve the token now I enter in the condition if the event type is equal to the numeric value of the zoom event type I go to the yes <coughs> I create the zoom meeting post this is the URL you read it on zoom API authorization error and the token okay content type application JSON and this is my JSON object I will pass to create my meeting I will need the duration I will need this event time I will need the topic the event name okay I do it and it create my meeting and uh, I retrieve the body of uh, the create meeting in this variable I can retrieve from that the ID of the meeting the meeting ID and also the join URL update my record okay I pass the row ID and uh, I can set the join URL and the meeting ID to update okay these two <coughs> So this is simply how uh, we can also uh, create